There's the delegate count for the, the Republican nomination for President of the United States. Look at the guy at the bottom, Ron Paul. Can he beat Mitt Romney? Doesn't look like it. But you know what? Mitt Romney's lawyers are telling Ron Paul, do not tread on me or I'll get my lawyers on you. We have Danny Yadrin, the Wall Street Journal in Washington with this story. Danny, what is going on? Why, why can't Ron Paul just, you know, go under a rock somewhere and leave Mitt Romney alone? He's causing trouble, isn't he? Well, I mean, certainly Ron Paul is, a, is, is not going to, you know, upset everyone and, and, and clinch the nomination. Um, but he is playing much more of a role in the process than perhaps some people thought. What he's doing is his supporters, who are very active, I'm sure you've seen them, uh, they're taking over state Republican parties and state conventions. And this is allowing them to send more delegates to the uh, national convention in Tampa this summer than, than perhaps Mr. Paul earned uh, through popular vote totals. Right. So uh, it's, this, it's this mismatch between the popular vote t totals and the kind of shenanigans or politicking going on at the local level that is getting Mr. Paul more um, can or delegates than he may have received in, in the course of the vote. Did I get that right, Danny? Exactly. And now the important thing to remember is that it's, it's likely not going to be enough um, we're, we'll really change the convention. It's, not, it's probably not going to be enough, you know, as it stands now, for Ron Paul to really alter the Republican Party platform or, or to change, you know, who can sit on the committee floor. But there could be enough of them where when you're watching this on TV, you might see some, some Ron Paul supporters, you know, holding a rally about the gold standard on the convention floor. And that's probably not what the RNC and the Romney campaign are looking for in a convention. Well, Conventions for a while... I think it would be a lot of fun, you know, the camera was, would pan out into the audience and then there'd be the, the Ron Paul guy with the down with Ben Bernanke sign. You know, Mitt Romney's trying to give some great speech and they're picking on Ben Bernanke and the Federal Reserve. I think it might actually be kind of entertaining, but that's me. Danny, what's going on in Maine? Why, 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 why are the Romney uh, camp sending lawyers up to Maine? Um, yes, they actually just sent their top lawyer up to Maine um, because Ron Paul supporters took over um, the state convention process and you know gave Ron Paul actually a majority of the delegates, even though Romney won that state. And it's a similar thing. The Romney campaign is arguing, um, at least from from people sort of familiar with their thinking, is that the, you know these delegates were elected improperly. They weren't elected, you know, as rules set up by the state party. Um, these rules are very complicated, very arcane, and everyone's still trying to figure out exactly what happened. But what we know now is that Ron Paul's supporters won.